Hi, this is Amanda from Adventures with Fitnix coming at you again with another video unboxing. Today I have a runner crate which is so stuffed with goodies that it actually was bursting at the seams when I received it. Runner Crate is another monthly subscription service for runners. Um, it includes a lot of running gear, um, snacks, fueling options, um, and actually a finisher award for each month's um, theme. And this month it is May the 4th, which for any Star Wars fan, you know that's a Star Wars day. You may be a dark sider and celebrate Revenge of the Fifth, uh, but this is actually, uh, and I don't have batteries in it right now, but it's actually a light up thing. If I had batteries in it, I would be turning it on and off. Um, so instead of a metal, it's actually a cool little um, thing that you can put wherever you want to decorate. Uh, and again, if you're a Star Wars fan, it was the perfect month for you. Um, you can still get your June box. I'm a little bit late posting this May box review, but I believe June is still available, and if not, you can start in July if you like what you see. Um, so let's dig into my runner crate here. Uh, the first thing that it came with is actually um, a little guidebook to what you're getting. So it's got little pictures, it's got information about any of the items in the box, so we'll use that as we go through. Um, the biggest item in here, kind of the highlight item, is a runner's belt. This one is bright yellow, and if you can see next to the blue zipper, there's gray reflective stripes there as soon as my camera focuses. Um, so you can unzip this. You can store your phone, your keys, some fuel. Uh, it's actually got pretty good capacity in here, so you wouldn't think of it when you look at it um, at first, but actually a lot of these belts, let's see, here's my, my phone. I have a Droid Mini, which is kind of small, but you can see there's plenty of room in there. I can zip it up, and I could really put a phone that was much bigger. My phone ends here, but you could fit a huge phone in here. Um, that's how they're making them nowadays. So you got this uh, runner's belt. It does clip in the back, uh, which makes it nice and easy to put on and take off. And then it's also fully adjustable with the straps here and the straps are elastic, so you still have a little bit of give, so it, um, you make it snug so it doesn't bounce when you're running, but you can also make it, uh, so it's not gonna be too tight um, on your clothes, or if you had a little bit too much to eat, it has a little bit of forgiveness. Uh, so that's kind of the highlight gear item in this box. Then we've got a lot of treats. We have a um, Go Raw Pumpkin Seed Sprouted Bar. Uh, these uh, says, great for a delicious snack that's not too sweet. Um, whole sprouted pumpkin seeds give this bar a healthy crunch while the dates keep it soft and chewy. Ooh, I love dates. So I'm going to have to jump into this thing uh, for a snack pretty soon. we got the Go Raw bar. Uh, let's see, next we have Detoxifying Hot Cereal. This one's called Beam. It's dragon fruit maki berry. I've never heard of maki berry, but I love dragon fruit. Um, these say an edible detox to help you feel bright, balanced, and energized. Uh, so there's a couple different kinds in the picture here. I have um, I have Beam, which I'm not quite sure what the difference between them is. This one is Beam. There's Thrive, Bliss, and Spark in a couple different flavors. Um, so detoxifying hot cereal, kind of like oatmeal. I'm going to have to give that one a try someday. Moving right along. What else do we have in here? Um, oh, so the Epic Bar. I've actually tried one of these before. This is um, chicken sriracha, basically a meat bar. If you can see here, it's it's not the most appetizing looking thing, and it, and it really is like a hunk of meat. If you like um, if you like jerky, you're probably gonna like something like this. Um, I'm not I'm not really that into this. I'm probably not gonna eat this. They have other flavors. Um, the other one in here is salmon. Salmon, sea salt, and pepper. I think you can tell in my voice that that doesn't sound so good to me, so this might get passed on to somebody else. But uh, if it's your thing, it's your thing. So I'm going to have a lot of protein in it. Maybe you'll like it. Uh, next up, we've got Wild Friends Classic Creamy Almond Butter. Almond butter is always good. Um, you can use it any way you would use... Um, regular peanut butter. Um, so nut butters are very popular, a good source of protein. Um, usually things like this are, you know, non-GMO. This says, yep, non-GMO. Um, it's natural, so you do have to make sure you're 
um, kind of squeezing it, giving it a little bit of um, a little bit of a stir because uh, the natural oils come up to the top on it. But uh, almond butter, always good. Uh, then we have another nut butter product. We actually have Justin's Snack Pack, a chocolate hazelnut butter blend with pretzels. So it looks like you get some um, hazelnut butter here and some pretzel sticks here. This has a 200 calorie pack. Looks like it's probably got a lot of protein. Mm, not as much as I would think, only three grams of protein in it. Uh, but it's probably a perfect little snack. Uh, it doesn't have too much sugar in it. So, good snack there. Uh, so two nut butter products, which is awesome. Uh, finally, I have, I don't have any information on this, but I do have Proteins. I guess it's protein something. Uh, so baked crisps with 15 grams of protein in zesty nacho flavor. Uh, so if you like a crunchy, kind of salty snack and still want to get your protein, try Proteins. Interesting. Uh, so that's it for what was in the crate, plus, of course, the finisher award. Now, the finisher award, I, I hadn't quite realized this because I hadn't made it all the way through the booklet, um, but the booklet actually has a challenge, so May challenges. So these are, let's see, it looks like it's a seven-day challenge. Don't need to do it in consecutive days. Um, this one is, like, day one, walk a quarter mile at a normal pace, then jog for 15 seconds, then finish walking at a normal pace till you get to half a mile. Okay, so for someone like me, this isn't much of a challenge, but for a lot of people who are starting out, this is a great way to get started. The walk to jog to walk is a great way to slowly build up your endurance, slowly increase your distance, and slowly acclimatize your body to getting moving. Now, I, I run, you know, every day or five days a week or whatever, and I've been doing it for a few years. Uh, but I could easily adjust this. I could I could adjust these the mileage. I could adjust you know whatever pacing I want to do, um, and still make it a challenge. So they do have a um, pretty simple challenge, but a good starter challenge. So anybody can order this crate and take on the challenge. And if you um, tag pictures, tag runner crate. And I think this is, their information is also on the front of the packet. Um, Snapchat, other things. Um, I'm sorry, Instagram, not Snapchat. Uh, so you can win prizes if you're tagging yourself, uh, tagging them in your pictures of you completing the challenge. Uh, they also have um, giveaways every month, so any subscriber can be entered to win these, and you can go to their website to be able to enter those. And then on the back, and I thought this was really cool, uh, members submit recipes. So this is a member recipe uh, from Crystal M. These are Sunday Buffalo Strips, which is perfect for, um, I'm in Cleveland, and right now we're going through a lot of um, playoff games with the Cavs. We're hoping in October we're going to have the Indians in those playoffs. It's a it's a hope, you know, we can, can never give up, although maybe we should give up on the Browns. Um, but the Sunday Buffalo Strips would be great for watching a game with your friends. Memorial Day is this coming weekend. It's probably a great thing to make for Memorial Day. Um, and it's got a lot of healthy ingredients, definitely well-rounded, um, and something that you don't have to feel guilty snacking on. So that's a nice little addition. So it's more than just the stuff that you're getting in the box. It's also your challenges. It's also the community when you're sharing yourself competing, completing these challenges. And they pull in members' information, and they use things, you know, user-generated content um, to help enhance the product. So you get more than just the items in the box. You get a full package. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so again, we'll just go run back through this. You've got your little guidebook with your recipe and your challenges. And that'll walk you through everything in your box. We've got the proteins, um, protein nacho chips. We've got our finisher award for when you complete the challenge. Sorry, I can't show you it glowing in the dark. Um, we've got almond butter. Hazelnut butter with pretzels. A little snack pack. The... Chicken Sriracha Bar, <laughs> good luck. Um, we've got the Go Raw Pumpkin Seed Bar. That's going to be way better than this chicken thing. Um, and, of course, the Hot Cereal Detox. And, finally, the Runner's Belt. And I believe the next, um, the next month or two they've been uh, requesting shoe sizes and um, things like that. So I wonder what the next product's going to be. I hear they have... 
really cool partnership coming up, so you might not want to miss the next couple of months. Get in while you can. Um, www.runnercrate.com. Link's going to be down there, uh, along with links to my blog and all of my social media, so you can follow along. I will do a full written review as usual, and that link's going to be down there as well. Use the comments. Tell me if you want to eat that chicken sriracha bar um, or what your favorite nut butter is or if you're a Star Wars fan and you're celebrating May the 4th or if you're a Darksider and you'd rather celebrate Revenge of the 5th, let's talk about it. Thank you, as always, for um, subscribing, following, uh, listening to me ramble, reading the blog. We'll see you again next time. Have a great day.